welcome to today's episode of the Tactical Tech. I'm Gary Smith, and today we're going to be having a look at this Honda Hybrid IMA. Uh, the vehicle came in with a P0335 crankshaft sensor code, and uh, we're trying to use the scope to find out if we have signal dropout or see what's wrong with this particular Honda. The uh, only code that we have in this car is a P0335, but the customer is complaining of transmission shifting problems that will intermittently go into limp home mode and at the same time this uh, PO335 engine crank signal code sets and it automatically clears. So what we're dealing with here is an intermittent. We've been warming this car up for quite a few minutes here, uh, getting it ready to do some lap scoping. So join us as we look at these signals. Um, here on the lab scope, we're running the live waveform on the crankshaft sensor. If we trigger the scope and stabilize the waveform, you can see that we're getting voltage control problems here at the top of the crank signal. And uh, every so often this crank signal will drop out and it will lose um, about a volt to a volt and a half of amplitude on the signal. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna come over to our measure and deep record screen and we're going to start a record. Now, immediately what we can see when we record this is that we've got a lot of uh, voltage hash and activity below the ground line here and above the ground line. So this sensor is kind of working on glitching out right at the moment. So what we want to do here is just kind of open up our waveform a little bit. And here you can see the voltage control problems on our sensor. If we zoom this a little more tightly, uh, we can see that the sensor is having a hard time keeping its voltage here at the top as it's going through the windows and switching in the Hall effect. So we believe that this car has a bad crankshaft sensor. What we've been able to do with this cursor here is line it up on the lower ends of these dropouts so that each time it drops further, we're moving that cursor to catch it. And here it's looking a little bit more clean. But here you can see that we're dropping near a volt and we see several areas of this waveform where we're dropping that voltage uh, pretty consistently. So we've been monitoring this for about 45 minutes and this waveform keeps getting worse and worse as time goes on. So what we want to do uh, with this is we're going to let it run just a little bit longer. We're going to continue to record the level of drop of voltage. And then I believe what we're going to do with this one is put a crankshaft sensor in it and reevaluate the car to see if we can clean this signal up. So give us a few minutes to get this crank sensor uh, sorted out. And we'll be right back with you and we'll uh, film the after effects and see how it looks on the scope. Now let's zoom right in over. This is another bad area right here where we're dropping near a full volt and as we look at this waveform in zoomed out view we'll see that we've got a ton of um, hash on this signal. So the sensor signal is not clean as we can see here if we just zoom a good section of that. We have a ton of voltage dropouts in this square wave. And when this drops down to a certain level, namely about 3.66 volts, uh, any spike that's going to exceed that is going to end up intruding on our signal and triggering our code P0335 crank sensor. So I believe that what this car needs uh, is to have the crankshaft sensor replaced. Here's a really bad section of this waveform right here. We can see all the voltage hash dropping out. So let's go ahead and let's put the crank sensor in this car and reevaluate the signal afterwards and we'll see if it cleans up on the scope, see if we can get this customer straightened out. Uh, as you saw from the video when we started, we had pretty good signal dropout on this uh, waveform. So if you take a look at the scope with me, uh, you're going to see the uh, waveform after the crankshaft sensor is replaced. It's much more stable. We don't have those voltage dropouts going on here. 
So what we're gonna do here is just take a recording of it and right away we can see how much cleaner that signal is than it was before. We don't have the hash down here on the ground line and we don't have the hash exceeding five volts up on the top of the voltage. So we're back uh, kind of in control with this signal if you will. A nice uh, clean new crankshaft sensor in this car. If we uh, go ahead and just open up our waveform a bit we'll be able to see that we have a much healthier cleaner signal and um, this PO335 should essentially be solved. Now what we're going to do here just to make sure that we're good with this signal is we're going to pull up one cycle of the engine. This is the number one identifier and this is where it repeats here these double strikes on the waveform. But you'll notice uh, compared to the first video when the car had the bad crank sensor in it how much smoother and more controlled the voltage is even at the bottom here. So what we're going to do is take our pan hand control which is, allows us to move this waveform maybe zoom it out a bit so we have some room on either side of that signal and you can notice here that if we take a cursor now and put it across the voltage line uh, it's kind of hidden behind this blue line up here now uh, as we pan this waveform we're getting absolutely zero dropouts and a very nice clean signal on the bottom if we cursor that up as well so what we've done here is use the lab scope to essentially nail down an intermittent crankshaft sensor problem that uh, was really creating problems for this customer with the way the transmission shifts and nothing else. And this is where a technician can get mixed up pretty quickly uh, going after that transmission complaint when really the crankshaft sensor was what was creating the havoc in the vehicle. So it's a great day when we can get a car fixed with a lab scope like this. This is one of the main reasons why when we have something weird going on with a car or we have an intermittent that we're not able to get a hold of real quick, this lab scope becomes our best friend for actually drilling down into the problem and seeing what's wrong. So anyway, the crankshaft sensor has fixed our nice little Honda IMA over here. We're gonna go ahead and clear the codes and road test this car, make sure that it's 100% for the customer. But I believe that we've got our problem fixed and this was a very quick fix using uh, our lab scope technology. So thanks for watching this short video on uh, crankshaft sensor diagnosis using the lab scope. We hope you enjoyed this quick five to 10 minute video and we look forward to seeing you again the next time. Have a great day.